Intune device inventory has landed. So in this video, we're gonna look at how to set it up and we're gonna see it working. So let's get started. Microsoft device inventory is being rolled out and if you don't have it in your tenant right now, you will do sooner as it's deployed across different regions. In the small amount of time I've had to look at this, I think it will be well received by IT pros. Now, if you're already familiar or you've invested in the Intune suite, then you'll be familiar with advanced analytics and particularly device query. With device query, this allows you to access and analyze data from your devices in real time and on demand, which is really good in analyzing the state of your devices. This feature has been well received and in terms of troubleshooting your device has been really useful. But with device inventory, this is a new feature and it's gonna allow you to manage the state or health of your devices on an ongoing basis. And particularly, you won't need an Intune Suite license to use it. In fact, it will be rolled up as part of your Intune license. So what are the benefits of device inventory? Well, it allows you to be proactive in terms of managing your device estate, alleviating the need in some cases to submitting and waiting for diagnostic data on your devices. There are two key components, the properties catalog and the resource explorer, which we'll take a look at in the video. But the overall benefit to IT pros is that it'll help them in the overall management of devices, such as gathering information to seeing which devices are ready for an upgrade. So with that said, let's take a look at how we set this up. So we start off in our Intune Admin Center and we go into Devices, we select Windows, and this is a new tenant that I've got. I've got very few devices in here at the moment. As you can see, I've got one Windows device. But we then select Configuration, and we're gonna set up a new policy. So we hit the Create, select New Policy, and we need to select Windows 10 or later. And what you'll see automatically when it's deployed to your tenant is this new option, Properties Catalog. Now this was new, you wouldn't have seen this, and if it hasn't deployed to your tenant right now, you won't get this option. So I select that option and hit Create. I need to give it a name, keep it fairly basic, we'll just give it Windows Device Inventory, then we'll select the next and go to the Configuration Properties. And this is where the magic really happens because you've now got these options, if I select the Add Properties, you're gonna get an array of basically catalog options that you can collect data on. If I expand some of these, for example, battery, you can automatically see there's a number of options underneath them. So I'm gonna go ahead and select a few here. Let's go for model and manufacturer, and actually let's go for the serial number as well. I wanna collect some information from the BIOS. So let's see what we've got. We can go for um, the software element state. And as you see, as I select these, I'm getting the properties on the right hand side, which I can automatically delete if I need to. Let's go for a few more. Let's have a look at the CPU, for example. I wanna look at, say, the CPU status and the core count, and actually architecture. Let's do the architecture, and we'll just pick a few more. OS version, the build version, and say the OS name and version. We might as well pick that as well. And lastly, I'm gonna pick this TPM. So let's go for TPM, enabled, activated, owned, and spec version. So I'm not gonna select all of them here, but you can see I've got a good array of options that I've added in. And as I add them to the right-hand side, again, I've got all those options added. Once we've selected all the options we need, we hit the select at the bottom here, and they're gonna appear within our dashboard. Now what's rather key is that it tells us that we've got a refresh every 24 hours. And if you remember, we are gonna be building information over time. This is gonna give us a regular update so we can keep up to date with all our devices. We're not having to do it on demand or in real time because we can refer to this and we don't need to raid a diagnostics report either. Now, if I decide I want to say, remove this category, I can do that. And also I can remove some independent options as well. 
if I scroll down the page, I just kind of review what I've actually added to make sure I've got what I need, and then I'll hit the next. Now you can add scope tags if that's relevant to you. I won't at this, at this point, so I'll then move on to assignments. So on here, we can pick our device group. We need to pick a device group. So I've got one already prepared. So let's go with my device inventory devices here, and then I'll hit the next. We can review the settings that we've added and then I'll hit create. Now, as this goes through, basically it will be deployed an agent down to our Windows devices and that can take up to 24 hours. The initial deployment of this will be a bit variable. There's no way of monitoring this to see how and when it's gonna be deployed and when we're gonna get the information from the devices back but we do know that it's gonna be a period of around about 24 hours. So I'll come back to my Intune tenant as and when I start seeing some data coming in. But just before we go into that, I wanna show you basically where you're gonna see the information. So if I go into devices and then hit Windows, and I need to select a specific device. I've only got one here myself, but when I do that, you've got this new option, Resource Explorer. If I select that, You've got a list of the properties. We're not gonna get any information, like I say, because we don't have the inf any data coming back as yet. But once we do, this is where we're gonna actually see the results. And as the device hardware policy uses device resources efficiently, it minimizes the network traffic on this by only uploading changes that have occurred since the last collection. So that's quite an important factor to note. Okay, so I'm now back in my Intune tenant and I let the policy deploy and harvest data overnight. And in my case, it didn't take 24 hours for the device inventory to be processed and put back, pushed back to Intune. So let's take a look at the Resource Explorer results here. If I go to Devices, you've seen this already, but then I select Windows. I pick my specific device, and then I've got this Resource Explorer option. So I select that, and I'm gonna pick a few out. So let's have a look. I've got BIOS information. So we can now see that this information is now being collected uh, and pushed back into Intune. So you've got some relevant and you know important information that you might want to use or refer to on a regular basis. Remember this is being taken and collected on a schedule on a 24 hour basis. And it's gonna keep this data for each device up to 28 days in the database. So once that's up, obviously you know it will recycle but let's have a look at some of the other information i've got some cpu details here which may be important in terms of troubleshooting um, i've got the os version um what we got so yeah telling me i've got windows 11 for example and i can look at the tpm now i don't have some of the other information that i probably would have expected but in here, as you can see, it's got no data found. And part of the reason for that is because what I've actually got here is a virtual machine. This is a virtual machine. If I look at um, TPM, for example, um, this is a virtual machine which is running on a Mac Studio device. Okay, so that's important in itself and to know that if you are doing some testing or you have got some virtuals, it is gonna collect the data from it. So you know, it proves that point in essence. The way in which this works in the background is a new agent is pushed to the Windows device and a new service is created and run. The agent collects Windows data used WMI by querying the various properties. For this, it looks for things like the TPM and CPU, which we've just seen. It then formats the data into JSON format, timestamps it and uploads it back into Intune for us to view within the Resource Explorer. We can actually take a look at some of this data and where it collects it and how it works on this on a Windows device. So let's take a look. So here over on my virtual machine, my virtual Windows machine, if you go into the File Explorer, go into your PC and then Program Files, 
you're going to see this new folder appear. So it's Microsoft Device Inventory Agent. So that's what's added as part of the, the push from Intune. And as you can see here, we've got the adapter, we've got the inventory service. So this is the service you see here, inventory services, that which is new and it's going to be set up and run on the actual Windows device. And if I go back, this is where you're going to get the logs. So and it's going to harvest your data and put it into the logs. So you can see it's got timestamps and it's going to give you a rundown of all the data that it collects before it pushes it back to Intune. We can also check for the device inventory agent by, by looking at the registry. So if I open up the registry, I've got it running here. And um, if you go down to your local machine, software, Microsoft, and then you go down to, you're going to get this new entry of device in inventory. And this is the information that's going to refer to your agent that's installed. I think the great thing about this feature is that it's doing all the hard work in the background for you. So you're going to get a report on a 24 hour basis. So every day on your devices, and that's going to allow you to kind of dip into that as and when you need to, rather than to do it on demand, which at the moment is generally required. The other thing is it closes the gap between what you might be familiar with on SCCM, right? Because in that environment, on the on-premise environment, you've got access to device infantry. If we go back onto Intune here, the one thing you'll notice is that, yes, you do have to kind of select the resource explorer per individual device. So it's collecting the data on your devices, but you have to go into it ind individually. Now, what has been noticed is that some people have kind of raised the question, what if I want to do querying across a number of devices as this data comes in? Now that feature isn't available, but it has been touted to be on the roadmap in the future, which may be part of the advanced analytics. So it's more than likely going to be added into the Intune suite of licenses. So that's Windows Device Inventory, the new feature that's been pushed out by Microsoft. You should see it soon in your own tenant give it a go. I certainly think IT pros are going to like this. It's a step up in terms of how we can gather information on our Windows devices. And the fact that it's done on a regular kind of daily basis is a plus too. I'm definitely excited to see what happens with the other device sets that we've seen some announcements around that. But the one complaint I would have if anything, is I'd like to see the whole monitoring reporting of device data kind of tidied up and made a bit more intuitive now that there's so much information available within Intune. Have a go for yourself. But for now, thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.